What's up, mini truck? Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna finally make my rear hitch with a two inch receiver. Because I need it. Now that I got my lift in here, it makes it a little easier to work on, too. If I put my pieces on the outside of the frame here, then I'll end up having to drill through and bolt. That will put down to about here. I could probably use that as a middle tab. My cross member. It's gonna have to be 38 and 3 quarters. I love fabricating. It's asking me 38 and 3 quarters. Now I have to measure up to what that's gonna be, which I got a piece of C channel. Because it's got a tuck behind here. The bed is a quarter inch higher. So my side pieces have to be a seven and a quarter for that. Usually I don't even draw anything, but visually for everybody I think it might be better this way. It's kind of a little crusty. I should be able to find some good steel off the end here. I should be able to still be able to cut that hole. How big is that hole? Well, let's find out. Just shy of inch and three quarters. But you get around a weld and everything, I need like almost a two and a quarter inch hole. So I can definitely get flush against that. Ignore my mess over here. Just ignore my mess. Should have just went and picked up some new fresh steel. Of course I didn't turn it on when I had my plasma cutter cutting. My new welding helmet. My old helmet didn't work when I did TIG. It wouldn't automatically do it. This has four sensors. It wouldn't automatically darken. This one hopefully is more sensitive. I'll find out when I try TIG. Cut some pieces off of this. Yeah, so that's got a little bit of rot. The ends are pretty thick though. I'll do it off each end, seven and a quarter. Beauteous. Beauteous Maximus. Smoking up in here a little. I need a big shop. That's what I need. Big steel building. Where is it? Oh, damn it. So if we make that hole over like that, looks like I'm going to be welding that piece up to the front of this though. Look at that. That'll work. One and a half is three, quarter, a little less than a quarter. This isn't exactly perfectly precise work anyway. I'm thinking once I weld this solid, I'm not going to be able to spread that so. I'm going to have to run this hole up. A little tap of the hammer. Yeah, that should work. I'm going to drill some holes. Bolt it up in there. See where that bar is going to have to come across. And then weld that into this one. These are going to definitely have to go right at the bottom. Same thing over there. What's that sound? Do you hear it? It's a funny squeaky sound. So I smoked up the house a bit much. You couldn't hear a dump truck driving through a nitroglycerin plant. I'm going to use some 
I got some fine thread drilling and tapping. That's how I'm going to hold it up in there until I get done marking everything for welding. Then when everything's all up in there, I can take these out and just drill through and put bolts. Tack her up, I guess. And that should work. Tack her up, take it down, and weld it up. <laughs> you could actually bolt right through this, too, and hold all this, everything together in one big shot. Switch that over to weld. Not bad. Don't be hot. Yeah, I knew this muffler was going to be in the way. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Look at that. Probably should do this outside. It's going to be a lot of welding. Damn, thought you guys were watching me weld. Didn't turn my camera on. Some bitch. But, oh, that Everlast does well good. Two rides, new truck. Mm, ain't big enough. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Hm, have to use two. Sixteen and... Looks perfect to me. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Nice. Yeah, rear hitch. I didn't even hear you come in. This new helmet works nice. It's fast. A lot better than my old helmet. Well, there it is. Let's hope it fits. <laughs> oh, boy. this back off again. Damn. Let's see if the other side lines up. Almost there. Now we are there. Now I can tow my wood splitter around, my trailer, have my kids split my wood. Yeah. There. <laughs> Looks pretty perfect. Looks pretty perfect to me. If I put a plate, it's going to have to go up higher. No big deal. First big project I've done with that Everlast. I like it. Welds nice. Very happy with it. As long as it lasts a long time, I'll be more than happy with it. Looks pretty. Let's 
see how she works. Oh yeah. What's up, mini truck? This thing really starts great when it's cold. Well, I guess I'm going to need a backup camera. All the goodies in here now. See how she pulls. Safety first. Don't forget to crisscross your chains. Eh, I guess it's a little high, but yeah. I A little different backing up from a right hand drive for sure. Not too bad. thing away that yeah, came out pretty good I'm happy with it thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see some more cool stuff that I do with this little mini I did order some tires those are just way too bouncy good in the mud but they're just too bouncy peace